All right, so let's dive into one of the coolest features of Copilot, that is generating images from your text prompts. Yeah, you heard it right. Now, imagine that you need a picture of a sunset over a mountain range, okay? Uh, so with Copilot, what you can do is you can simply type that right over here, that sunset over a mountain range, right? And it will create that image for you right away. You don't need to scroll through endless stock photos or pictures on Google and struggle with your drawing skills because Copilot has it all covered for you. Now, here's how it will work, right? The first thing that you need to do is enter a description right over here in this bar, right? You can type in a detailed description of what you want, what the specifics should be, what the details should be, how the color should be, so that you can get a better and, you know, the, the desired result, right? The next thing that you need to do is you need to generate that image. By hitting this generate button right over here, Copilot will use its AI magic to create the image based on your text description, right? It sounds cool, right? So let's do a quick demo over here, right? Let's type that a serene beach at sunrise with palm trees, right? Let's go with this one. Now, this is quite specific because I want a serene beach, right? At sunrise with palm trees okay so let's just let's just hit this submit button and see what copilot comes up with let's just wait for it it's going to create it of course it's going to take a few seconds and you can see that that history has just you know got here at the top of my rest of the history right and it says that this is a serene beach at sunrise with palm trees right so there it is Wow, such beautiful image, right? All these palm trees coming right over the water and the sky looks so pretty. The sunrise looks amazing, doesn't it, right? Now you can see that these pictures are four right over here, right? It's, it, it isn't one, right? Because it's giving you suggestions over here that you can go with. Maybe you don't like this one, maybe you like this view or this one, or this one, this is a bird's eye view, this is from the side. So you have several options to go with, right? And you can see that this, this picture is powered by doll E3. This is basically an AI tool that creates images, which you can also get on chat GBD if you have the paid version, right? Now, to understand the style and content parameters, right, of uh, Copilot, you need to understand that uh, there are certain styles, right? So let's talk about how you can tweak your image with style and content parameters, okay? Now, giving such settings or, you know, giving such details will help you fine tune the look and feel of your generated image, okay? Now, if you focus on the style parameters, right? Let's say style parameters, right? So these are the parameters that can control the artistic aspects of your image, right? For instance, you can say that uh, what, what type or, or what star art style do you want your image to be in? Like, right, what, uh, you, want to, you want your picture to look like in, in a, a photo or a sketch or a painting or a water painting, right? And then what colors should be dominating in the image, right? You want warm tones or you want cool tones or you want it to be monochrome, right? And then comes the detail level that should the image be highly detailed or it should be abstract or which one, right? Then comes your content parameters, right? Content parameters will basically affect what's actually in your image, right? For instance, it will affect the elements that specific objects or features you want. Like on this beach, you wanted your palm tree, right? So that's your element that you mentioned in your prompt, right? Uh, that you want palm trees, right? Then comes your composition. For example, what or how many elements, uh, how the elements should be arranged, right? That you want a bird's eye view, you want your sea to be in the center, you want your palm trees on the side, 
or at the top or whatever, right? And then comes setting the mood, right? For, for, for instance, right over here, we said that it should be sunrise, right? You can also say it, should, it, should, it can be sunset, right? It could be afternoon, it could be daytime, it could be nighttime, it could be festive, calm, whatever, right? You just need to make your prompt concise, detailed, and clearly specific, right? Now, let's, let's try to see these two parameters in action right over here in our image, right? So let's just say that this, this prompt that we said that a serene beach at sunrise with palm trees, let's try to adjust our beach scene and try to make it look like a watercolor painting with a cool color scheme, right? So let's just say that, let's just edit this uh, prompt and say a serene beach at sunrise with palm trees in a water color painting style, right? With cool color scheme. Now let's see what the change we, we will be getting in our uh, image, right? Let's just wait for a second. It says a serene beach at sunrise with palm trees in a watercolor painting and we wrote a cool color scheme ahead, right? Let's just wait for it to load and let's see what happens. So there it is. Wowza. Just look at it. How soothing and how cool this is in a watercolor painting style, right? This is exactly how a watercolor painting looks like, right? And such a cool tone of the beach. It's like amazing. Who, who would even want to go on to Google and search for the images now? Honestly, not me, right? So this is one amazing thing about Copilot, right? Now let's see, let's see how you can adjust the image quality and your resolution, right? Now adjusting the quality and resolution of images is of course very important when you need to use it in different settings. So you can go for HD quality, right? You can write here that I want a picture in HD. That will make your images richer and more polished. Then you can go for web views where you need a balance between quality and loading speed, right? Or you can have the low quality as well that you can use for thumbnails or quick previews, right? So you can just mention it right over here. We are basically using the unpaid version of Copilot. So we don't have the option to play with the resolution. But if you have a paid version of Copilot, then you can literally go there and you can have whatever you want, right? So that is uh, about the resolution, how you can set that, but that all happens in the paid version. Thank <laughs> you.